Ladies and gentlemen, you know my first guest tonight from Kroll Show, The League, and Oh Hello on Broadway. His new Netflix cartoon series is called Big Mouth. Please welcome Nick Kroll. your outfit before with yeah. the paint splatter sweats yeah. and the backwards hat, but you look like the Viceroy of India. That's Thank really you. nice. Thank you. Not everybody can rock the double breast, man. You know, and I'm keeping it buttoned and we're gonna see how that feels. <laughs> uh, uh, nice to see you. I haven't seen you since uh, the Emmys. You were at the little after party we had. I, there. I was fun. indeed. Wonderful job at the Emmys. Thanks very, very much. Well done. Really yes. Yeah. Great job. A lot of fun. Um, Got to be naked and everything. It was yeah, nice. It must have felt great. Uh, I had a nice time talking to you. Uh, uh, but you live out in LA, right? I Is do. That, okay, I, so I you do. see famous people all the time. All right? the time. Yeah, you guys like the, the like the Walgreens out there. You're like every time. Look, there's Tom Hanks and Beyonce <laughs> yeah. and Jimmy Stewart. Like, yeah, all of them are out here. Tom Hanks is getting Valtrex, you know what I mean? Yeah, it works, <laughs> evidently. It does, it's great. Now, uh, but did you meet, did you, did I you, met did you the, go to that thing and go like, oh, look, there's a famous person, I want to meet them, even though I'm famous. The most famous, exciting people I met at the Emmy, the, your party, the yeah. Emmy after party, were your children. Oh, yeah, they all came. It yeah, was a lot of fun. I, I got to hang out with your kids, but oh, I was, nice. like, kind of drunk. <laughs> and I was like, is this wrong to be drunk in front of Steven's children? No, no, no. Anything goes. Anything goes at the Emmy after party. Yeah, and, and, and I might have tried to sell him coke, and I apologize <laughs> about that. Has to happen sometimes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'd rather it come from a friend. Thank you. You know, <laughs> you know what they say that's not. Thank, thank you. It's a good stuff. Thank you. Oh my God, thank it was you. my pleasure. And can You're I tell man. you? You're a good man. They, they did it like pros. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. Their mom will be so happy. Yeah, yeah. So happy to hear this on national TV. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Your new show is called Big Mouth. Yes. And it, uh, I, let me. I've got a, a photo here that I think is part of the inspiration. Can you tell me where the idea of the show came, and then I will show the yes. people the photo. Yes. The, the show is based on me and my best friend from childhood, Andrew Goldberg. Uh, I've known him since first grade. He ended up uh, becoming a writer and producer for Family Guy. Oh, great. And I was on the hit show Cavemen. Uh, thank you. Were you one of the cavemen? I was one of the cavemen. I did not know you were one of the cavemen. Not on the commercials that people liked, oh. on the TV show that, that people <laughs> hated. Um, but, <laughs> but uh, wow. yes, but it, he, um, he and I created this show together with our friends Mark Levin and Jen Flackett. And How old are you in this photo? We are 13 years old. Uh, if people can get a close-up on that. There we are. This is you. That is me. Um, I'm wearing the literally exact same suit. I am wearing another double-breasted gold, uh, gold suit. Yeah. And um, so Andrew, the, we were best friends. We really formed each other's sensibilities. And, but Andrew got ravaged by puberty. I it mean, hit he, him first. it hit him hard and young. Uh, I'm going to say this on national television because it's on the show, so I apologize. Andrew, I love you. But Andrew, uh, during a slow dance with a girl at a bar mitzvah, may have um, uh, ejaculated in his pants. Now, is this a story that he tells publicly? <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, no, it's it's, but it's it, really? it's on the show. We wow. it's in the show, so I feel like it's fair sure. to say. And, yeah. and he's now married to a wonderful woman, has two great kids, so I think it all worked out. That's in the show. Yes, that's in Is the show. The, it's a cartoon. Yes. Obviously, is this a sort of cartoon that parents should sit down and watch with their children? Stephen, I'm going to leave that up to each individual parent. <laughs> um, but it's, I think it's very, it's very dirty. But I also and honest and honest, and it's talking about the stuff that's really hard to talk about. And I think a lot of that for me is puberty is a really scary thing, and I think most people feel like they're going through it alone. But the truth is, every single one of us goes through puberty and goes through this range of crazy emotions and feelings. Uh -huh. and your body's changing, and we try to make a show that reflects that. It's kind of like the sex ed video that I wished I had gotten to see, um, but also, like, filthy. Uh... Well, speaking of that, we have a, we have a clip here and this one I'm about to tell you is absolutely true. CBS told us that the clip was too vulgar to show. So we heavily edited the clip. Now, it didn't take it out. We literally, like, we, like, 
bleeped and blurred and everything. And they said, yeah, no, no, still. That's still, <laughs> that's still too early to show. But we're going to show it anyway. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Set this up for us. Um, this is our friend, uh, we were talking about our friend Jesse, who's voiced by the hilarious Jesse Klein, who is uh, just that day become a woman. Okay. And uh, again, what you're about to see is all we could show you. <laughs> so, did you know that? It's really honestly crazy. I mean, what would you do if once a month? Oh, my, I don't know. Why would you put that image in my head? What would you do? Well, one time I ate a bunch of roasted beets, and then when I and I thought and I was like, oh, no. Right. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I ate beets, so. I don't think that's the same. <laughs> so, do your best. Uh, it's still pretty good. And thank you. That's still pretty damn good, even yeah. without knowing anything. It's, uh, it's so much better and worse than what you've blurred out. Now, uh, you're also trying to get other celebrities to post awkward puberty pictures of yeah, themselves. Yeah, I think it's such a, again, that time is so awkward. I think we need to, there's catharsis in, in sort of showing who we were and what we became, and I'd love to encourage celebrities to, like, if you, Stephen, had a photo of yourself at that age. Can I would, jump, can I jump in on this? Please, yeah, okay. I can't wait. This is, uh, this is me at, at that oh. age. Oh! Oh! Look how thick that knot is. Well, I can tell you what's going on with this knot is that I just come from the gym, which is why my hair is wet, and I forgot it was photo day. And so the photographer, who was a 60-year-old large man, gave me his jacket and his tie. <laughs> That's why the knot is the size of my face. Oh, it's great. So I'm going to tweet this out. I'll start this. I'll tweet this out yes. with the hashtag... Puber me. Puber me. Uh, P-U-B-E-R me. Puber me. Yeah, this is and like. I encourage all other celebrities. This is it. I'm too. shouting you out, The Rock. I'm shouting you out, The let's, Hillary let, Clinton. Let, let's make this interesting, okay? <laughs> let's make this interesting. Is that I uh, I have an ice cream fund. Okay. Okay. It's a charitable fund of the Maricon Dream ice cream. Uh, uh, we give that money to charity every year. Well, I, I usually do it at the end of the year. What I'm going to do is is that for every celebrity that puts up a puberty picture of when they're 13. Uh, and put up hashtag puber me, and I'll decide what a celebrity is, thank you. <laughs> I'll give a donation from the American Dream Ice Cream Fund, and it's really dependent on how many people do it, because I only have so much money in the fund. And I will match that. <laughs> and to Puerto Rico Hurricane Relief. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's exactly it. Perfect. Done. I don't know how much money there is. Yeah. We'll do our best. Big Mouth premieres this Friday on Netflix. Nick Kroll, everybody. We'll be right back.